So, as you can see, this is the quail coop. We just have a riveted metal top. And this, re this you see here is reflective plywood, just because I'm in Phoenix, or I'm in Mesa, Arizona, and it gets very hot out here. So any kind of anything to reflect away the heat a little bit is very nice. Um, I had this fence up and I just used it. Everything's drilled into these posts. And this whole thing is basically built with two by fours and plywood. We have treated wood against the bottom because you know it touches the ground so it gets wet and everything. So you want to have the treated wood so it can it won't just decay on you. And then, yeah, everything's made with two by fours and the plywood. Very s simple materials and a, a lot of screws. And then on the inside, as you see all my quail. This is the inside of it. You can just see the plywood on the outside. I, uh, one thing you definitely don't want to use, which I used in one of my first quail coops, was chicken wire. And little birds can get through the chicken wire and get to the food, and they do. Um, so I got the smaller netting. It's just a heavy plastic netting. If you want to go metal, it would definitely hold it better, especially if you have real predator pres pressure. Um, we do have coyotes in the neighborhood every now and then, but I, you know, I have a dog. Never had to worry about the coyotes in my backyard so far. Um, I just went to the dollar store and got these little things that I kind of use as their egg boxes. They like to put eggs in there and just cut out one section of it. Pretty simple. I do want to set up a watering system, but I just use these five gallon buckets right now. And then as you can see, I have these center blocks lined against the back because there's a little gap back here. And when I clean out the um, bedding, they can actually get underneath. Let's see if I can pull this out. They could actually, they would come and pick at this and scrape this away and then they could actually get up underneath there. And that's always fun trying to get quail out from underneath there. <laughs> so, a little design flaw, I should have buried these a little more. And so I just took a lot of center blocks I have and lined them up and they do really well. Really well. I have two sections as you can see and the netting just separates the two um, It's very simple and I mean you can scale this thing to any size Especially if you're only having a few quail. You don't need a ton of room. It's They're definitely not chickens that need a lot of room to move around. I have a hundred quail in this pen and you can just see all the space they have to walk around. They're not, if they need to get away from another quail that's picking on them, they can easily do it. And they just have a lot of space to move around. Definitely happy birds. Happy birds make you lay a lot of eggs. Big size too. You know, if you ever see quail eggs in the Asian markets, is usually where I see them. Uh, they're very tiny. I say my eggs are almost almost double the size and they just factory farm, push them all together, no space to move around, metal bottoms, uh, you know, wire bottoms that they're just walking on. I like them to actually have a soil they can burl, burl into and they just enjoy it. They like to do their little dust baths all the time and very simple design though like you can scale this to any size um the roof's a little shorter than me because we just built it off the back of the fence i didn't want to eyesore for the other neighbors and stuff so i built it kind of low so i'm ducking down here a little bit but not that much as you can see i'm ducking down a little bit but i'm also six one so 
you're a little shorter, you'd be just fine. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, it's a, it's a simple design. I do want to set up a better watering system where it's set up to a bigger supply, like a 50 to 100 gallon supply that just feeds into here. But right now, this thing works perfectly. You just got to clean it out a lot, <laughs> especially with 100 birds. I pretty much every other day, I'm in there cleaning it out and making it clean. I just use this for their food. This works perfectly fine. And yeah, as you can see, they can definitely get underneath there if they wanted to. His head's basically at the <laughs> the entrance of it. And man, they just kind of go into every little corner. <laughs> I gotta put that back. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a nice easy design and uh, something that anybody can do it's, it's not that hard you just get some some screws some nails some wood you're good to go all right y'all have a great day i hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough of the coop and yeah